a pleasant and cordial welcome at Senior Chief Sikufele's Palace in Maninga District. Vice President Mutalina Rumango and her entourage called on the traditional leader to discuss various development projects in the area. Senior Chief Sikufele said his subjects are pleased with various developmental projects being undertaken by the government. This is the new Copa I agree with you. Because here, investors have now started collecting copper from my area. There is a mine. And also, here, Kashina site, there is a mine there, Chapo site. Even in Chipchiangere, there is a mine. Vice President Mutalina Rumango assured the traditional leader that the Farmer Input Support Program, FISIP, is still in place and the beneficiaries will receive the inputs. But FISIP cannot, FISIP cannot, you know, satisfy everyone. It's impossible. And now we have people sharing from one person who gets six bags, then they start sharing containers. That should not be so. Let the people who get use that so that they can improve and exit. Because we have to, we can't have the same people for 10 years getting this. The other person, neighbor, nothing. Later, the vice president toured the Maninga Munilunga Road under the improved rural connectivity project. A new connectivity with a new style of work so that we can create corridors for trade, like he says. Then when that money comes in, this road will improve to another level. About six kilometers of the gravel road has been done on the Maninga side, while the Zambia National Service has done 100 kilometers on the Munilunga side in conjunction with the Road Development Agency, RDA. Rehabilitation, improvement, routine and periodic maintenance works will be done on the over 200 kilometers stretch. Mary Kachepa, ZNBC News, Maninga, Northwestern Province.